Well, what is up guys and welcome back. We are back. Beautiful Anna Maria Island, Florida. I'm so happy to be back. It was an amazing trip to the Dry Tortugas. If you haven't checked out that series, you're going to have to check it out. I recorded everything from crossing over in a bay boat to the Dry Tortugas, 75 mile run out of Key West. It was amazing. Anyways, guys, we're back here in the ocean, in the Gulf, in wherever you're, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. My favorite fish to eat is hogfish. A lot of you guys know that, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got some exciting episodes along the way. We're just catching, we're cooking, we're doing all kinds of things that uh, any fisherman would love. We're heading out of Longboat Pass. It's an absolute beautiful day. Took this opportunity to kind of go scouting for hogfish because that's what I want to do on my charters. So we're about to head out. And before we do, and just thought I'd say this before head out of the pass here. If you guys want to book a trip with me, you can do that at fishingwithsalty.com. The website is linked in the description below. Also, if it's already booked, my calendar kind of gets full sometimes. If it's already booked on my website, go ahead and shoot me a text because I could put you on my cancellation list. That way, if somebody cancels last minute, I'll reach out to you and we can get out on the water. West Grunt, easily identified, easily identified by those blue lines on their face right there. They got a big old red mouth. Not much to be concerned about on these guys, very much like a bluegill in freshwater. They have these top dorsal fins that can spine you. They got these little peck fins right here that can spine you. Um, right here, these two fins right here have little spines on it. This little anal fin can, can poke you right here. But for the most part, if you hold it just like a bluegill or really just any tiny bottom species, right here, take note that right here on the inside is not sharp, but right there. All right, that's a trigger fish. Uh, just one of the bycatch species. You go through a ton of bycatch usually when you're targeting a hogfish. Trigger fish are named for their top fin right here. If you press this as hard as you can, you got to be careful that that can stab you right there but if you um, if you press it down it won't go down but this little trigger here releases that pressure uh, also down here little anal fin that also can get you uh, can stick you and don't ever put your fingers near their mouth you don't want to try to use pliers to unhook these guys have sharp teeth uh, but other than that these two dorsal fins right here can stab you and that bottom fin can stab you, but other than that, it kind of feels like sandpaper. All these are good. And that feels like the right one right there, boys. Usually they kind of dig on their side, boy, they can really dig, and that's one of the things I love about them. I'll tell you what, you're going through the bycatch, you're catching Key West grunts, you're catching other species. And when you hook into a hogfish, you're gonna know. These things bite, especially on this light tackle setup, it's amazing. I'm anticipating this, this to be a big hogfish. We'll see. He's going to his side. Big, nice hogfish. Nice male. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice male hogfish. Gosh, this is a beautiful species. By far, my favorite species in the ocean to eat. In, anywhere. In salt water, this is my favorite saltwater species to eat overall. Just tell. You can just tell that they're, what a beautiful fish. Unbelievable. Their colors are just amazing. Really dark right there. Giant, just a really nice size hogfish right there, guys. But you can tell by this, the dark top of their head can identify the males from the females. But the, the females are typically a little, a little lighter in color. But look at those teeth, guys. Those teeth are absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. 
targeted species. This is the third species we've caught today. Um, I went through a, a few grunts and, uh, and a couple trigger fish and then all of a sudden the right one bit. These guys have to be 14 inches to the fork and typically I don't like to keep females. I love a beautiful male right here. <laughs> right, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful start to the day. Red grouper kind of have things everywhere. They got the dorsal fins, the pec fins, the anal fins, uh, the anal fins, pec fins. This is extremely sharp right here. Um, not in their gill, right here. They also, you gotta be careful because they got gill rakers too. That if you put your finger up in there, it's almost like a Chinese, um, yeah, they got they got some teeth, not, not many teeth, but ultimately, that is what you want to look out for. That thing is razor sharp, so be careful. All right. I feel like we're hooked up to another one. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he's pulling good. I'll tell you what, just all the bycatch, all the different species to catch, it's just so much fun. Another nice hogfish, guys. Wow, look at the size of that one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh no. Beautiful, beautiful. If you're wondering why I didn't have my net out for that one, it's because if you have the net out, you're not gonna get the right fish. That's just the way it works. So you gotta have the net stowed for sure. As you can see, I'm using circle hooks because here on the West Coast, you actually have to use circle hooks. It's against the law not to when you're fishing on the bottom. That. It's an absolute beautiful hogfish. These fish are so delicious to eat and I really think it's because they eat crustaceans. They're so much fun to fight. <laughs> Their teeth. And they use those front teeth right there. Those front teeth, they, they use it to call, it, what it's called when they eat is called rooting. So that first initial thump, you actually don't want to start reeling. You want to wait uh, a minute. Um, because they root it, they push it into the sand and then they'll pick it up and grab it after they know that they've stunned the bait. But another beautiful fish, beautiful colors on this guy. Whew. What we're using here is an amazing Title Pro Bubba Rod. Amazing, I'll link it in the description below if you wanna check these rods out. They are amazing, I, I love them. I have no, no complaints about them. I got it paired with this Slammer 3 3500 and it works out perfect. Got some 20 pound braid on here. 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, knocker rig, one ounce egg weight, nothing special guys. Like this is super easy fishing. That's one of the reasons why I love it. I love it how easy it is to do. And not only that, but I mean, it also catches my favorite species on earth. I love these things. These things are so good to eat. I cannot wait to get back to the house and, and uh, cook this thing up. Look, he's, he's rooting it. Now he's taking it. See. You can't just oh you can't just reel right away when they're rooted when they're pushing it up against the bottom. Yes sir. Yes sir. Number three. Ah. Number three. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Another stud. Whew. I gotta be 14 to the fork of the tail, 17 to the fork. 17 to the fork of the tail. Beautiful fish. So delicious to eat. Oh yeah, fish on, baby. Looks like another one. And another hogfish, baby! Now this one, definitely a keeper size fish. Beautiful. Uh, 
All right, here's another bycatch. As you can see, these, these sheep's head have human-like teeth. It's pretty wild. But they're actually good eating species. These dorsal fins, extremely sharp. Peck fins, sharp. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, red, big red grouper. Beautiful. Look at that. Holy smokes, guys.